now based on the knowledge that we have gained through the caste rule uh, let's see some examples where the caste rule is applicable so here are some examples that use caste rule so here in this example you can see that uh, solve tan x equals to 2.1 for all possible values of x where x is between 0 to 360 degrees all right so here you have to find all the possible values of this equation tan x equals to 2.1 uh, within the given range of values of x so here it is given that let's start from the given like it is uh, tan x equals to 2.1 and then you see that x equals to tan inverse of 2.1 all right and therefore x equals to let's go to the calculator so in the calculator you have to put the calculator in the degree mode it's already here then you have to find inverse of tan then it is 2.1 close this bracket and this is 64.536 so you can take that nearly equal to 64.5 up to one decimal place so that we can write x equals to 64.5 degrees so this is the first value that we obtained and this is definitely in the first quadrant this is 64.5 degrees all right so this is 64.5 degrees and uh, this sort of the first value is called principal value of x which is in degree at, uh, here and now this is not only enough to calculate because you have to see for all possible value of x uh, in the domain 0 to 360 degrees you have to see here then you have to see that it is tan x is 2.1 and this is a positive number then you have to check for where tan is positive so in the first quadrant they are all positive all right so tan one of the tan value is here over in the first quadrant so that one of the answer is 64.5 now you know that also in the third quadrant here you can see tan is positive but cosine and sine are negative here so we check for the positive value of tan x in this third quadrant and let's take one angle over here equivalently in the third quadrant so by vertically opposite angle case here it is 64.5 and if you start to count from here up till here then it is 180 degree plus 64.5 degrees all right and also you know that uh, tan 180 degrees plus a equals to tan a and here a means the principal value so in the quadrant in the first quadrant in general so it is tan 180 degrees and here it is 64.5 so you can write here 64.5 equals to means that should be equal to that must be equal to 64.5 so therefore another possible value of x in this case will be 180 degrees plus 64.5 now go to the calculator again so calculator is re ready here and then you put here plus 180 degrees in the answer and it is 244.54 you can say but up to one decimal place you can take up to 244.5 uh, if you would like to meet even closer accuracy in that case you can take it this up to the three significant figure four significant figure but that is not required uh, unless it, it is asked in your question but here in this case we take the easy value so this is 244.5 so it is 244.5 so therefore 
the possible values of x according to uh, the given situation in this case is x equals to the first value is 64 and the another value is 244.5 where tan x is positive that means tan x is positive in the first quadrant and only in the third quadrant and therefore these two are the answers. This is also possible that in the third quadrant uh, so first we start from tan x equals to 2.1 and for tan x you can write cot 270 degrees minus a in general is 2.1 because or you can write x here because the angle is x here so you know that uh, cot 270 degree minus x is tan x so you can write this way also and uh, you can again write this cot as 1 by 10 270 degrees minus x equals to 2.1 and therefore tan 270 degrees minus x will be 1 by 2.1 and then you go to the calculator and then in the calculator you can see that 1 divided by 2.1 is 10 by 21 so it is uh, 10 by 21 you can write you could write in the decimal form also uh, degrees and finally it is um, so deduct it from 270 degrees now so again we found this as 244.5 degrees so this way also it is possible to uh, find the another value of let's now this example which is related to the previous one uh, it was before it was plus 2.1 now we are working with minus 2.1 over here that means we say that for the negative value of tan x so tan is negative in you know that this is negative in the second quadrant and also in the fourth quadrant but in the second quadrant tan is positive so in this question solve tan x equals to minus 2.1 for all possible values of x where 0 is lesser or equal to x is lesser or equals to 360 degrees so x is in degrees here so in this case this is good idea is that at first you take the principal value so this is tan x equals to 2.1 in the positive sense first of all and you found that in this case x equals to it's already here now x equals to 64.5 you don't need to calculate it again so you have x equals to 64 uh, 0.5 degrees at the principal value but we are talking of this uh, tan x as negative so we check in the second quadrant and also in the third quadrant so when if this is uh, 64.5 degrees at the principal value over here but we check for the value of tan x uh, value of x where tan is negative so this is negative in the second quadrant first of all we check it here so let's take this angle equivalent to this x that is 64.5 degrees and you can use the sense or the formula that tan here it is up to here up to here it is 180 in the half circle minus 64.5 so you can write here 180 minus 64.5 equals to tan 64.5 because you know that tan 180 minus uh, 64.5 is no it is minus tan x because in the second quadrant tan is negative all right so therefore another possible value of x in this case is 180 degrees minus 64.5 and let's go to the and go to the calculator again you can check 180 minus 64.5 and that's going to be 
115.5 if you like you can check also check that whether or not tan 115.5 degrees equals to minus 2.5 not plus 2.5 you have to check for the negative value of tan x so let's go back to the calculator and in the calculator you put uh, press tan and then it is 115.5 degrees so calculator is in degree mode so make sure of that and then it is uh, minus 2.096 means it is nearly equal to uh, minus 2.1 so the value of x at this point is we have found that this is 2.09 and few more decimal so this is nearly equal to minus 2.1 and which is true so therefore another value of x is also 100 15.5 now you know that tan is negative in the fourth quadrant also so in the fourth quadrants let's take this angle as x that is 64.5 where tan is negative and then we calculate this angle and you also know that uh, tan in the fourth quadrant 360 degrees minus x equals to minus tan x that means you have tan 360 degree you can call a also no problem yes so a means the principal value so principal value is here you can see it is uh, 64.5 and then that must be equal to tan minus tan 64.5 so therefore another value of x should be 360 degrees minus 64.5 so let's calculate it so this is 360 degrees minus uh, 64.5 and that angle is 295.5 degrees and you must check that whether or not tan to uh, tan 295 degrees 95.5 degrees minus 2.1 so let's check back to the calculator so in the calculator this is uh, tan we are checking with tan and then this is 295.5 close the bracket and make sure that this is in the degree mode and then we saw again that this is minus near close to minus uh, 2.01 that means after rounding off uh, to one decimal place you will have the value minus 2.1 so this value is also true that is minus 2.1 so therefore possible values of x in this case where x is from 0 to 360 degrees are first value we don't keep here because first value is for the positive tan but for the negative tan we have to keep this value so which are 115.5 degrees and another value where tan is negative is you can check here this yes so this is 209 and similar sort of work we will do with this example where sin x equal to minus root 3 by 2 for 0 is less than x and less than 360 degrees so sometimes it will be given in terms of less than and sometimes in terms of less or equal to so here also the main idea is that uh, solve sin x equal to minus root 3 by 2 for 0 is less than x is less than 360 degree here also we first take the principal values for sin x we don't keep the negative value uh, at first so this is divided by 2 you go to the calculator your calculator value you can check here in the degree mode is that your x value will be 60 degrees here so here let's take that the principal value as 60 degrees but what we are actually working for we are actually working for sin x equals to minus root 3 by 2 and that means sin is negative so you have to check where sin is negative sin is negative in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant but itself in the second quadrant and first quadrant sign is positive so we'll don't will not keep this 
peaceful value. However, uh, this peaceful value will be a reference to find the value of sin x where sin x is negative. So let's go to the second quadrant here. In the second quadrant, this angle must be 60 degree because these two are the vertical opposite angles. So first we check in the second quadrant is that we have to find this angle that means 180 plus theta, uh, 80 plus 60 degree here. So you know that sine 180 degrees plus 60 degrees equals to minus sine 60 degrees. All right. Otherwise, you can go to calculator and check whether or not this sort of thing are equal and also this is the formula based on sine 180 degree plus a equals to minus sine a. All right. So therefore, another possible value or uh, one of the possible value in this case is 180 plus 60 and then it is you add them. So it is 0 and this is 4 and this is 2. So this is 400 uh, sorry 200. 40 degrees if you like you go to the calculator and check whether or not sine value is negative so this is sine of angle 240 degrees yes and it is minus 0 0.866025 that is equal to minus root 3 by 2 you can check in your calculator so that this value is true and now we work in the fourth quadrant where sine is again negative so just we keep this value equal to this x that is 60 degrees over here and then we have to find this angle start from the first quadrant till the fourth quadrant where sine x is negative and this is 60 degrees so you again uh, again you know that in general uh, sine 100 no now it is 360 degrees minus a equals to minus sine a that means we are in the fourth quadrant where sine is negative so therefore you can say that the another value of x in this case is 360 degrees minus principal value a here the principal value is 60 so that this is 60 okay so that this is 300 degrees and once again you can check this value uh, that it is uh, sine and make sure that your calculator is in the degree mode and then we are checking for 300 degrees and then it is yes again it is minus root 3 by 2 so therefore we checked for all the possible values of x for which x is between 0 and 360 degrees and these possible values are x equals to one of the value is 240 degrees and we don't keep this uh, principal value because sin, it represents the sign to be positive so this sort of value so where sign is positive are not taken into consideration here and the another value where sign is negative is 300 degrees and this is the answer let's now see here that instead of 0 to 360 degree now it is only difference is that uh, x is between negative 180 degree to positive 180 degrees so rest of the process are the same like we did here but only difference is that to read of the value according to the given range of value of x is different here so in this situation what you can see is that so it is 180 degree that means we consider 180 degree in anti-clockwise direction that means it is plus 180 degrees okay so this is the anti-clockwise direction and uh, negative 180 degree means we count it from below this x-axis in the clockwise direction so whenever this is tradition that when we take the angle along the clockwise direction we keep it negative and along the anti-clockwise direction we keep the angle as positive 
so in this case again uh, your sine x is minus root 3 by 2 and your principal value you have 60 degrees that we have already seen earlier so this angle is in fact it is 60 degrees now we have to work uh, for where sine is negative so you know that sine is negative in the third quadrant as well as in the fourth quadrant so let's check here that in the third quadrant just like we did earlier so it is 60 degrees again so in the third quadrant what you can do here that you have to get this angle okay so from here to from here it is 180 degrees all right that means the possible value one of the possible value of x is 180 degrees and when you deduct this 60 degree then you will have this angle in the clockwise direction so you can write here minus 60 degrees and you know that in the clockwise direction is just opposite to the anti-clockwise direction so for the clockwise direction we keep all these angle in negative sign so it is minus 120 degrees and now yes it is minus 0 0.86 that means it is minus root 3 by 2 so this is true so this is one of the possible value for x in this equation now we walk in this fourth quadrant here that and you take this angle equal to the x that is the principal value that is 60 degrees and you know that this 60 degree is measured in the anti-clockwise direction therefore it is taken as positive but here in the third quadrant it is taken as negative 60 because we measure here in anti-clockwise direction and therefore another value of x is here minus 60 degrees where sine is negative so we checked for the third quadrant as well as for the fourth quadrant but we will not consider the values of sine in the first and second quadrant quadrants where sine is positive because it is given as minus root 3 by 2 which is negative number so therefore possible values of x are minus 60 and minus 120 and these are the answers in the same way let's try this example so this is a unit circle i'm taking here and the diagram is not to the scale so these are only the reference diagram so here again we take the principal value first so here it is cos x equals to 1 by 2 even though this is minus 1 by 2 so first of all we find the principal value and in this case you can see that cos x equals to cos inverse of half that is again 60 uh, 60 degree over here or otherwise you can go to the calculator and then you can check for cos half and you'll find that when your calculator is in degree mode is that this is 60 degrees so value of x in this case is 60 degrees all right and this is the principal value that we write over here in the first quadrant so this is 60 degrees but in this case you can see that it is given that cos x equals to minus half that means cos is negative and you know that cos is positive in the fourth quadrant and in first quadrant so we will not uh, find the values of cos in the first and the second quadrant for although when although we have taken this as principal value in the first quadrant so we check for the value of cos where it is negative so you know that in the second quadrant cos is negative and in the in the third quadrant also cos is negative but here cos is positive and here also in the first quadrant cos is positive so we consider for the second and the third quadrant so for example if you are in the second quadrant take this angle equivalent to the principal value and here also you know that cos 180 degrees minus a or theta anything you can write uh, which is uh, that represents uh, the angle is in the that presents uh, the value of cos in the second quadrant which is negative and that is 
equal to because this is uh, even number times of 90 degrees so cos remains cos so it is minus cos a all right uh, that means it is cos 180 degrees minus a means it is the principal value so we can keep this as 60 degrees and this is minus cos 60 degrees they must be equal otherwise you can go to the calculator and check this check it out yeah and then therefore you can say that one of the possible value of x in this equation is 180 degrees minus 60 that is 120 degree if you like you can go to the calculator again and you check for cos 120 degree and this value is minus 1 by 2 so this is true and now we try the value of x in the third quadrant all right so what you can see here instead of taking 60 degree over here you take this principal value difference 60 degree over here and also you can take it from 270 degree by using the formula but i am taking it from here so what you can see in the third quadrant so in third quadrant although this is not necessary to write but it makes the thing clear quadrant you can uh, you know that cos 180 degrees plus a means plus i will keep this is 60 equals to minus cos a means here the principal value is a is 60 degrees all right and therefore another possible value and uh, for x in this case is 180 plus 60 and that is equal to 0 and this is 4 and then 1 becomes 2 so this is 240 degrees that means cos 240 degrees should also be minus half so you can go back to the calculator so let's check for cos 240 degrees is again this is minus 1 by 2 that is minus half so th therefore this is true and i think we have worked out for all values of x where x between 0 to 360 degrees where cos is negative so therefore x equals to 120 degrees and 240 degrees these are the possible values of x uh, according to the given condition and these are the answer similarly for the same question only the range of value of x is now is given in terms of minus 180 degree to plus 180 degrees and we have just discussed about the positive and negative uh, direction of measuring angle so we'll use the same thing over here also again so we have you can see here that it was 60 degrees again and only now we consider this sort of thing and in the second quadrant cos was negative and also in the third quadrant cos was, cos was negative so this is 60 degrees so let's check in the second quadrant uh, so here the value of possible value of x will be this is 180 minus 60 so one value is 180 minus 60 equals to this is 120 degrees and this is just less than this is, this is less than 100 plus 180 degrees so this value will keep where cos is negative and also up till here let's check that this is 60 degrees but in this time we are not talking of 180 plus a or between uh, from 0 to 360 degrees but will we are talking from negative 180 that means we measure this angle along this negative direction uh, which is the clockwise direction here so with reference to this sort of thing uh, that means with reference to the negative 180 degrees what you can say that the another value of x in this case is 180 that means from here up till here from 
downward of this uh, about downward of this x axis up to here it is 180 degree but here it is 60 degrees so from here up till here is it is 180 minus 60 degrees but in this case we are not measuring the angle along the anti-clockwise we are measuring the angle along the clockwise which is called the negative direction so we put here negative sign here and then this value is minus 120 degrees okay so this value is going to be minus 120 degrees so let's check what happens for minus 100 minus 120 degrees and close it this is again minus 1 by 2 and therefore this value is true why for x equal to even x equal to 120 degree and also x equal to minus 120 degrees we got the same value minus 1 by 2 is because you can see here that cos minus 120 degree equal to cos 120 degree because you should know that cos minus theta equals to cos theta so that is the reason and therefore these two are the possible values so therefore the possible values of x in this case is minus 120 degrees and plus 120 degrees at which the value of cos is negative and these are the answers finally let's try a complete question so here you can see in example 4 solve 2 sin 2x equals to cos x where 0 is less or equal to x is less or equal to 360 degrees so you have to take care of uh, the range of value of x given sometimes it is 0 to 360 degree will be given and sometimes it will be negative 180 degree to 100 plus 180 degrees or otherwise also you can understand if it is given more than 360 degree then you have to advance again to the first quadrant throughout and that sort of thing uh, you can apply again if you are in the first quadrant then the same rule of cast will apply here so we'll not talk, we'll talk much about that thing at this time uh, so here let's start from here that it is given that 2 sine 2x equals to cos x and that gives you 2 times of you know that sin 2x is 2 sin x times cos x this is a formula for sin 2x and equals to cos x and here take care most of the students used to cancel the term so please don't cancel the term because we require as much of the information we can so now it is 2 times 2 is 4 and then this is sin x and then it is cos x is here and if you transpose this to the left it's going to be minus cos x here equals to 0 and then take out cos x common and inside you will have 4 sin x minus 1 equals to 0 and therefore you can see, uh, see that from here it, from this equation cos x equals to 0 you have equation 1 and then you have 4 sin x minus 1 equals to 0 you can call it equation 2 so using equation 1 so from equation 1 you have cos x equals to 0 and go to the calculator otherwise you will see that value of x is 90 degrees that means we are at the boundary point over here but it doesn't matter so in this case what you can do because here you can see that cos is 0 either you suppose it is negative or positive it doesn't matter but unless or otherwise stated you can suppose this as positive number so you, so you know that cos is positive in the first quadrant and is uh, also positive in the fourth quadrant so what you can do in this case is that if this is 90 degree about this if you are taking the at the boundary here then what you can say in this case like cos you know that here in the third quadrant uh, 
cos 180 plus 90 degree okay plus 90 degree equals to 180 plus 90 degree that means we are almost here or even if you suppose that you are slightly in the third quadrant then it is minus cos 90 degrees okay and here in this case whether it is plus or minus in both sides you go to calculator you check for this value we we'll have both sides 0 equals to 0 so therefore the value of another value of x will be 180 plus 90 degrees and this is definitely 270 degrees and uh, this is also possible that if you take the reference of fourth quadrant here so you know that in the fourth quadrant uh, you could write here 360 degrees and minus this 90 degrees minus this 90 degrees and obviously if you support this as fourth quadrant then this is going to be cos 90 degrees and by using this sort of thing also your possible value of x is 360 degrees minus 90 degrees and eventually it is 360 minus 90 is 270 degrees so did we work for all the values of x for which cos x is 0 yes one value is 90 degrees and another value is 270 degrees now let's check for this equation 4 so now from equation sorry this equation 2 so now from equation 2 in the equation 2 you have 4 sin x minus 1 equals to 0 and if you simplify it further then it is sin x equals to 1 by 4 and then if you transpose this sign to another side so then it is x equals to sine inverse of 1 by 4 now go to the cat 5 so this angle is 14.5 now let's think over the value of this sine sine x so 1 by 4 is the 4 is positive and you know that sine is positive in the first quadrant and also in the second quadrant all right so the first quadrant answer is already ready over here then we check for the second quadrant in the second quadrant for example uh, this angle is 14.5 so in the second quadrant you can take this angle equivalent to 14.5 and then start from here and go till here so this angle will be equal to 180 degree minus 14.5 so another possible value of x you will see that this is 180 minus 14.5 then calculate this it is 180 minus 14.5 and that angle is 100 65.5 and if you want then you can check it to the calculator and see that whether or not 165.5 degrees of sine is 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 so go to the calculator again and this is sine 165.5 and close the bracket yes it is 0 0.25 okay so this sort of decimal you can see due to the round of things over here but it is nearly equal to or very close to 1 by 4 that we require here so therefore you can see now the possible values of x are here according to the given condition of this equation are x equals to we have uh, 90 degrees and then yes 270 degrees and then next we have we can check it here it is yes 14.5 degrees and then it is 165. 
5 degrees so while writing the answer better you write in the and then finally it is 270 degrees and these are the answers